I remember shooting The Divide with Aaron a few years back, and uh, like Aaron said, we hit it off, and we had a very good uh, working relationship on that film, so he, he uh, you know, pulled me aside one day, and he says, you know, I have this other script that I've been, uh, you know, trying to get off the ground, and I'd like you to read it, and so I was like, oh, great. I love reading scripts, so especially one written by Aaron because he wrote The Divide and I love Aaron's words. So on my day off from shooting The Divide, I went down to the coffee shop and I opened it up and I read it and I was blown away by it immediately. You know, I read it and kept flipping pages, flipping pages. And usually it takes me a week to read a script because I'm so slow. And I read a couple pages and I close it up and I get back to it. But Aaron's script, I just breezed right through it and, uh, you know, Right after I read it, I'm, I didn't know which character he wanted me to play. I just wanted to be a part of it in some way. And uh, so we bounced some ideas away, uh, around. I was going to play this other character for uh, a moment, and then uh, Aaron told me, well, why don't you play the, the main guy? And I was like, sure. And we developed the script a bit further, and I started to work with another writer called Shane Danielson, who's another Australian. And he came on and uh, Came involved in some of the rewriting too, and, um, and then you know, and I'd speak to Michael a lot uh, because it's great to work close with cast to help to evolve the script, particularly with actors like Michael, who uh, has a great intellect for character and, and how to motivate the behaviour of the character and how to implement that in the script. I developed the script uh, through a place in Dresden called the Max Planck Institute for Molecular Cell Biology and Genetics. And it's quite a world-renowned genetics institute, and I was there as an artist doing a residency. And I was very interested in all the research projects that they were doing, so I uh, kind of honed in on one of their projects and thought it would make a great uh, uh, core idea to, to build a film out of. And from that kind of scientific research, I formed the sort of narrative around that as a sort of, you know, like as a, it, it was the idea, the jumping off point. I do believe I became a little bit of a mouse whisperer. Yeah, they liked me. The, the guy who was like the uh, animal handler, who was in... Yussi. Yussi, he was extremely experienced. Um, of he, was, he knows everything about mice. It's amazing, this guy, actually. And often with the scientists he trains, it's quite involved. Uh, there's a, it's very strict about how you handle them. Or it's, there's very tight controls about that. So he had to teach Michael how, to, how a scientist would handle a, a mouse and make sure that, you know, for the welfare of the mouse. But uh, he said that Michael learnt the techniques of, of handling them in, like literally in a few days, which sometimes takes people weeks to, to get a handle on them. And I think it's, I think he gave off some good mouse vibes. Unlike poor Thomas who kept getting bitten <laughs> every time he tried to pick them up. We all got a few bites from the mice, but uh -huh. uh, yeah, basically that's what I did, was start with the core of the character, his, you know, the pain and the grief that he was going through, then the technical aspect of uh, being a scientist, and then anything in the script that I didn't understand, the sci science talk, I, you know, broke that down and, mm. you know, researched what I was talking about. To come back a second time, and being our world premiere for Heirs of the Human Body, I'm, I'm excited for tonight. And, Me too, uh, I'm you know, nervous. You just unleash the beast <laughs> to the audience and let them enjoy. You know, uh -huh. and so uh, the mutant baby yeah. let it crawl away. Yeah, <laughs> our baby's gonna be born tonight, Aaron. Uh -huh. He's out in the world. <laughs> I'm so happy. No, <laughs> it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. <laughs>